So here's some quick tips on how to minimize the ribbon in PowerPoint. Uh, the ribbon up here in PowerPoint is really handy, especially when you get used to it because it gives you quick access to the resources that you need while you're working. So you have all those common features and um, they're all in context to what you're doing. Uh, the only challenge with that is that the ribbon's really big and so it can take up a lot of real estate. I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can uh, minimize the ribbon while you're working. So the first thing you can do is say you're working and the ribbon is open and you want to shut it down. Uh, what you do is you just click on the home on your active tab. So let's just say we're in the uh, view tab right now. So the view tab is active and if I want to minimize the ribbon I just double click on that and then you can see that now uh, I've got more real estate to work with and the ribbon's not taking up my space. And anytime I want to open that back up, I just click on any tab and then double click and that'll set the ribbon back in place. Now let me close that again. So I'm going to double click. Now it closes it. Now if I only click one time, that's going to open up the ribbon, allow me to make a selection. So let's say I'm going to go to a Slide Master. When I make that selection, it's going to close the ribbon. So um, if I double click on it, it opens it and keeps it kind of locked in place. If I close it down again, now if I click it one time, it opens it, but it's only going to open it allow me to do the one thing I want to do. So we'll go back to normal view, and then it's going to close the ribbon up again. So if you want the ribbon open all the time, just double click on it, and that'll keep it in place. Now the other way you can minimize the ribbon, so by default the ribbon's going to be open, is you can just come in here to your quick access toolbar and click on the drop down and you see down here there's a minimize uh, ribbon feature so that's going to minimize the ribbon and what that does is allows you to uh, make a selection let's choose shapes for example we're going to choose shapes but then uh, the ribbon goes back up uh, into its place um, the only drawback that I see to having it always minimized is that you get the one choice. So I add my shape, but now uh, if I want to do something with the shape, let's say I want to format it and I want to change the fill color uh, to yellow. So I change the fill color, but let's say I also want to change the shadow color. So you notice that the toolbar goes back up, so then I've got to go back up here and mess with that. Um, so uh, the problem with having the ribbon minimized is that you only get that one click, so you'd want to double click on that so you have full access to the toolbar while you're working on it. And then when you're done you can double click and close it down. So that's real quick tips to show you how to minimize a ribbon.